Welcome to Volume 5, Issue 22 of the Master Investing Newsletter. This week's excellent date is the 30th of May, 2019. Okay, who are our candidates? We have four. Nate National Grid, Martin Spencers, Whitbread, Sage. Um, in total, we could expect 1.4 billion. Okay, so what's the return on investment? National Grid for Professionals, 76% as a derivative. Three, in fact, I'll start here. 3.8 um, dividend yield, 2.9 dividend yield for Mark Spencers, 1.5 for Whitbread, and 0 0.8 for Sage. And then for the derivative, it's 76.6 .6 for professionals, 57.7 for professionals on Mark Spencers, Whitbread 14.7 and 7.7 .7 for professionals. Non-professionals can expect 19.1. 14.4 for Mark Spencer, 7.3 for Whitbread, and 3.8 for Sage. Whitbread PLC is a hospitality company. The company operates hotels, coffee shops, and restaurants. The company operates in two segments, hotels and restaurants, and Costa. The hotels and restaurants segment provide services in relation to accommodation and food. The Costa segment consists of operations of its branded, owned, and franchised coffee outlets. Premier Inn is the company's hotel business. The company's restaurant brands include Beef Eater, Brewers Fair, Table Table, and Whitbread Inns. The company operates over 785 Premier Inn hotels and over 72,000 rooms across the United Kingdom. The company operates coffee shops across the United Kingdom, over 2,400 coffee stores in approximately 31 international markets. Its subsidiaries include Whitbread Group PLC, Premier Inn Hotels Limited, Iweda Costa Shanghai Food and Beverage Management Company Limited, Coffee Heaven International Limited, and Costa Express Limited. Let me just stop here for a second. Whitbread, as we know, is the pub group. And what the pub group have done, they have said, okay, we are not making a lot of money here. Let's go in the hotel business. Let's go into the coffee business. So they diversified their model. Um, they're number 50 in the FTSE 100 with a valuation of 8.2 .8 billion, 8 .2 billion, sorry. And if we was to trade this company in the last seven years, we would have had 15 opportunities. Nine times out of 15, which is 60% of the time. Had we gone long, we would have gotten our money back within one week. Um, five times out of 15, which is 33% of the time, we'd have gotten our money back within a month and more than a week, which is 33% of the time. And 7% of the time, which is once um, it would have taken us more than, more than a month to get our money back. And 726 days have elapsed since that time which is the um, one over a month. No times at all, do we not get our money back? And in terms of going short, um, twice out of 15, 13% of the time, we would have made money going short. The return investment was anywhere between, right, I'll tell you, it was 9% and 5% and 9%. And three times on day two, which is 20% of the time, making money going short. And we're talking about between 2% and 19%. In fact, I'll tell you what they are. 2%, 7%, and 19% return investment. All right? So before I go any further, I'm going to tell you, this is not a good one, track record-wise, for going short. Better to go long with a whip bread. Let's look at the fundamentals. 2.9. 2.9 billion. 3 billion, 2 billion, 3.3 billion, 2 billion. Profit, um, 488, up 515, down 427, up 4, 548, and down 260. And their profit margins, look at this. Look at this. 16.7, 16.6, 21.2, 16.6, 12.7. .6, 12 so, um, what are they promising? Whitbread's valuation, 8.2 billion. 
8.2 billion net asset 6.2 billion again they're selling a premium on the book and the book value and by the way this book value is breakup value so, she, so they shouldn't be selling for this price anyway but um 8.2 billion is what they're going concern value is they want to pay 116 million they have profit of 3.7 billion they got 3.4 billion cash these guys are healthy this is a very healthy company there's something interesting going on here let me just talk about it very quickly and if you look at the profits here 488 before 387 after 515 before 416 after this is the difference between this and this is tax 427 um, 436 548 436 here 260 3.7 billion how does that make sense it makes sense because in this year they sold they sold assets to the tune of 3 billion. That's how they had a big boost to their profits, which is the, it wasn't to do with the operating businesses. They had a one-off sale of assets. So they made, who was this, Whitbread? They may, they may have sold a bunch of hotels or something, but they sold something to the tune of 3.7 billion, but they're healthy. And I like them because their margins are, are sustainable and makes them work. But they sold something here. Ah, uh, someone said they they sold Costa. Okay, well there you go. Okay, what's going on here? Whitbread share price has been trending up gradually since 2016. Welcome to Volume Five, Issue 23 of the Master Investing Newsletter. This week's exhibit date is the 6th of June, 2019. Whitbread was one that we said was good for going long. Like, what does this one do? Okay, it's in this range on Wednesday between the green and the red line. It should have gapped down to here based on the closing price and here based on the worst price. What does it do? It gaps down based on the closing price, hugs just below it. So everyone's kind of in profit and then it starts to move out, out of profit for short traders. And then Friday, it gaps down for about an hour and then literally nine o'clock it shot up and this one got my attention because it was like literally superman you know he heading for the heavens and then it started to drift up again and then it kind of ran out of steam and went sideways from there gave up some ground today and back to where it kind of peaked on friday morning so this one was very good for long traders and um, short traders i'll tell you what they did professionals they got a neg between negative three percent and five percent and non-professionals got between negative two and three percent and on the long side they would have received a dividend of 14.6 up to the green line anything above the green line is, is a premium and non-professionals got 7.3 percent 14.6 for, for professionals 7.3 for non-professionals um, and you can see that this this price is now considered to be pricey right where we are here. So, you know, I can't see too much upside coming. It's that its job. It's given the long traders their money back. You know, they don't need it anymore. That's Whitbread. And that's all for this week. Happy investing. Take care. Bye now.